Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain a numerical on Internet Protocol version 4 which will illustrate the use of every field in the IPv4 header. The example is an IV datagram has arrived with the following information in the header in hexadecimal format 45000054003003 2006007C4E 0302 4B40E 0F02 From this given hexadecimal dump of IPv4 header, we are supposed to solve the following questions. Are there any options? The answer to this question will be determined from the header size field of IPv4. Is the packet corrupted? Why? The answer to this question can be determined from the checksum calculation. Is the packet fragmented? The answer to this question can be deter determined from the flags field value. What is the size of the data? The answer to this question can be determined from the total field and the header size. How many more routers can the packet travel to? The answer to this, uh, to this question can be determined from the TTL field value. What is the identification number? The answer to this question can be determined from the identification field value. What is the type of service? The answer to this question can be determined from the type of service field value. Now, to solve such questions, you need to know the IPv4 header in details. The IPv4 header has got 20 bytes fixed. These 20 bytes are covered in 5 rows. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 rows each occupying 4 bytes. The header length field of IPv4 specifies the length of this IPv4 header in multiples of 4 bytes because each row is covering here 4 bytes. So to cover the header size of 20 bytes, the edge length field in binary should be 0101 that is 5 in decimal. So 5 multiplied by 4 is 20 bytes. The version field specifies the version of the internet protocol which is in use whether it is version 4 or version 6. The service type field specifies the type of service based on the reliability, throughput, cost requirements. It assigns the precedence to the services offered. The total length field specifies the length of the data plus the length of the header. The IP datagram has got header followed by data. The header size is from 20 to 60 bytes. Minimum size of header is 20 bytes and maximum it can be 60 bytes with the options. So your total length field specifies the length of header plus length of data. The identification field, flags field and fragment offset, these three fields are used in fragmentation and reassembly. The time to leave field specifies the number of hops the pack, which the packet can take before reaching the desired destination. The protocol field specifies the upper layer protocol from where the network layer receives the data. The header checksum field calculates the checksum on the header fields. It verifies the integrity of only the header part, not the data. The source IP address specifies the IP address of the source machine and destination IP address specifies the IP address of the destination machine. This fixed size header of 20 bytes is followed by the options and padding. Now here to answer the asked questions we need to arrange the given hexadecimal dump in such a way that we are able to identify the different fields of IPv4 header. So the first hexadecimal digit over here is 4. It corresponds to the 4 bit number field, 4 bit field, first field which is the version field. So version of IPv4 which is in use over here is version 4. The second hexadecimal digit is 5. It corresponds to the H length field and H length always provides the header size in multiples of 4 bytes. Therefore, the header length is 20 bytes. And as the header length is coming out to be 20 bytes, there are no options. The options are 0 in this case. The third field is the service type field which is of 8 bits and its value in the given hexadecimal dump is 0, 0. It means that the service type is a normal service. It is a normal inter internet service. The next 
digits are 0, 0, 5, 4 and these hexadecimal digits correspond to the total length field. So, the total length is 84 in decimal or 84 bytes and from this we can easily calculate the length of data. So, length of data is equal to total length minus the header size. Length of data is equal to this total length minus this header size. Therefore, the length of data here is 84 bytes minus the 20 bytes of header is equal to 64 bytes. The next field is 0003 and this corresponds to the identification field. So, the identification number over here is 0003. The next field is 0000. This corresponds to the fragmentation and fragmentation offset and flux field. These together form 16 bits over here. So, from this we can find that the first bit un is unused which is set to 0. The don't fragment bit is set to 0 and the more fragment bit is 0. So, this means that the fragmentation is not done in this case because the more fragment bit is not set to 1. It is set to 0. So, fragmentation is not done over here. The next field is having the hexadecimal value 20 which corresponds to the time to leave field of 8 bits. So, TTL value is 20 over here. In decimal it becomes 32. 20 hexadecimal converted to decimal is 32. 32 means the packet can travel to 32 routers because when the packet is transmitted from the source machine and when it is received at the first intermediate router the TTL count is decremented by 1. The TTL count is again decremented by 1 at the next intermediate router and so on. So, at the 32nd router, the TTL count will become 0. And at the 32nd router, if the TTL count is becoming 0, the packet will not be forwarded further. So, the packet can travel to 32 intermediate routers. The next field is having value 06 in hexadecimal. This value corresponds to the protocol field of 8 bits. Now, if the protocol field is having one value, the protocol at the higher layer is ICMP. If the protocol field value is 2, the protocol used at the upper layer is IGMP. Uh, rather, it is proper to say that the IP layer will be receiving data from IGMP protocol if the value is 2. IP will be receiving data from ICMP if the value is 1 in the protocol field. The IP will be receiving data from TCP protocol if the protocol field value is 6. The IP protocol will be receiving data from UDP if the protocol field value is 17. And the IP protocol receives the data from OSPF protocol if the value of the protocol field is 89. Here in this case, the protocol field value is 6. It means that the IP is receiving the data from the TCP protocol. Now, next field is here 0000 it is 16 bit field and it corresponds to the header checksum and from the given hexadecimal dump the checksum value is straight away 0 over here 0000 but is it the uh, does it indicate that whether the uh, header is having some error or not that can be determined from the checksum calculation which will be discussed in the next slide. Now, the second last field is 7C4E0302, which corresponds to 32 bits. There are 8 hexadecimal digits here. 8 hexadecimal digits means 32 bits and this field corresponds to the source IP address. So, source IP address over here is 7C4E0302. Its decimal equivalent is 124.73.3.2. Your 7C corresponds to 124 in decimal. 4e in hexadecimal corresponds to 76 in decimal, 03 in hexadecimal corresponds to 3 in decimal, 02 in hexadecimal corresponds to 2 in decimal. Similarly, the destination IP address is having 8 hexadecimal digits that is 32 bits which is the last field of IPv4 header over here. So, destination IP address is B40E0F02. B4 value in hexadecimal converted to decimal is 180, 0e value in hexadecimal converted to decimal is 14, 0f value in hexadecimal converted to decimal is 15 and 02 value in hexadecimal converted to decimal is 2. So, the destination IP address is 180.14.15.2. Now, most of the answers, most of the questions are answered over here. Now, let us check whether the packet is corrupted or not from the checksum calculation.
Now, in order to calculate the check sum, you need to arrange the given hexadecimal dump in 16-bit words. So, you can see the data written over here in the form of 16-bit words, uh, except the last two uh, hexadecimal chunks. These are having 32 bits. So, you can separate out these chunks in 16-bit words. So, after arranging the given hexadecimal dump in 16-bit words, calculate the sum of all 16-bit words excluding this checksum bits. There are 16 bits in checksum field. You need to exclude these 16 bits of checksum in uh, calculating the checksum. Then, find one's complement of the sum which will be the checksum. After getting the sum of all the 16-bit words, uh, you, you need to calculate the ones complement of that sum and that ones complement of the sum will be the check sum. So here the first 16 bits are 4, 5 are represented by the first 16 bits are represented by 4, 5, 0, 0. The second uh, 16 bit word is corresponding to 0, 0, 5, 4. The third 16 bit word is corresponding to 0, 0, 0, 3. The fourth 16 bit word is corresponding to 0, 0, 0, 0. The fifth 16 bit word corresponds to 0, 0, 0, 6. The next 16 bit word corresponds to 7C4E. The next 16 bit cor the word corresponds to 0, 3, 0, 2. The next 16 bit word corresponds to B40E. And the last 16 bit word corresponds to 0F02. So, we in this calculation, in this summation, we have to exclude the checksum field value. Now, add all these 16-bit words. The result in hexadecimal is 1A7BD. So, 1 is the generated carry over here. So, you need to add this carry bit in this obtained sum and get the actual value as A7BE. Now, once complement of this hexadecimal uh, chunk A7BE is 5841. So, this 5841 is the actually calculated checksum. And the checksum received in the IPv4 header is 0000. It would have been this value only, 5841. Since the checksum received in the IPv4 header is 0000 and it is different than the actual checksum calculated that is 5841, it means that the packet is corrupted. Now, let us summarize the results are there any options no there are no options because the header size is of fixed 20 bytes no options are there in this ip4 header is the packet corrupted why yes the packet is corrupted because the received ip4 datagram has a checksum value of 0000, 000 but the actual checksum is non-zero value is the packet fragmented no the packet is not fragmented because the more fragment bit is not set to one then uh, what is the size of the data? The size of the data is 64 bytes, which is calculated as total byte, total length minus the header size. How many more routers can the packet travel to? The packet can travel to 32 intermediate routers. And what is the identification number? It is 00, 00, 0, 0, The identification number is 0, 0, 0, What is the type of service? The type of service is a normal service. It is the internet service. Now, this completes the example. Thank you.